Tonight, the community and police are still searching for answers after two young siblings and a man were gunned down last week. Tonight, Columbus police asking for your help finding the people responsible. Now, police released uh, this photo of a car they say is linked to the shooting. They believe the car you see here is a black Nissan Altima between the years of 2010 2012. You notice here no license plate on the back. 10 TV's Richard Solomon has the latest on this case. One piece of information could help solve this horrific shooting. I would hope that our community would come forward and say that we will not allow this, uh, this violence to happen to these kids. Columbus Police Detective Terry Kelly held up this picture of a car police say is involved with the shooting that killed 22-year-old Charles Wade, 9-year-old Demetrius Walneal, and his 6-year-old sister London. It was taken from surveillance video from Winchester Lake Apartments. Finding the car can help them find the shooters in this investigation. I want to know who was at that scene. Somebody out there, there is a person sitting at home right now watching this that absolutely 100% knows who the shooter is. Last Tuesday, police say two people approached the vehicle and shot up the car that Wade and the two young siblings were in. They took off in a car with a third suspect. This vehicle was seen at the apartment complex that day. They're looking for a black Nissan Altima, believed to be a 2010 through 2012 model. You'll notice the car has no license plate, and the picture was taken in the daytime, even though the shooting happened at night. Detective Kelly says these details illustrate that it was a planned attack. The shooters in this case absolutely knew that those children were in the car. Whether they were the target of that shooting or not, I can't say 100% for sure, uh, but I, I do believe that they knew they were in the car. Their grandmother, Jessica Jones, gave us these pictures. She said the two loved life to the fullest, but Detective Kelly says no one in that car deserved to die, and he's depending on the community for help. If Columbus, as a community, is going to fix this, it has to start right now. In Columbus, Richard Solomon, 10 TV News. Police telling us they have information about what led up to that shooting. However, they're not releasing that to the public at this time.